guys welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial uh, in today's episode we are going to learn about another interesting feature of C programming called the C preprocessor so before going to learn about C preprocessor you have to know something about what are the steps what are the phases through which a C program going throughout its life cycle so here suppose I create a program called hi hello.c I save I create a C program and I save the file with the name hello.c and I compile the program using compiler the C compiler I compile the program using compiler so the compiler will convert this program into hello.obj the compiler will convert the program into another format called hello.obj so before you are going to run it is hand over to the linker the linker will perform the actual execution of the program so the linker convert the program into hello dot exe actually this file is running the exe file is actually uh, we got the output from the dot exe file these are the basic steps through which a C program uh, going through throughout its life cycle so first uh, the compiler will compile the program and is converted into hello dot obj file and after that uh, when we run the program the linker will convert that file into hello.exe actually this file will execute in our computer and we got the output so the C processor pre the C preprocessor come in between the source program and the compiler so here comes the C preprocessor here comes the C preprocessor so before hand over the program into the compiler the preprocessor will convert the program into hello.i i means intermediate format this is the file extension for the intermediate code generated by the C preprocessor so just uh, I, I know that you, are, you have no idea about what I mean by C preprocessor so uh, this is the working of a preprocessor uh, throughout the life cycle of a program so before uh, before hand over the program directly into the compiler the C, pro, the C preprocessor take them and uh, take some action on the program and uh, it will create the intermediate code for that particular source program and that code is hand over to the compiler and compiler will compile the program and generate the object code and finally the linker uh, will convert that particular object code into .exe file this is the C preprocessor the C preprocessor actually done the expansion of expansion of macros uh, just uh, now I know uh, you have no idea about macros just uh, for this video just uh, just understand that the preprocessor will just uh, make an expansion of macros and that is called the intermediate code it is hand over to the compiler okay um, these are the main components of a C preprocessor the, pre, the C preprocessor provides some functionality uh, there are four functionalities are provided by the preprocessor pre, uh, pre in C programming first one is the macros and second one is file inclusion uh, third one is conditional conditional compilation and the last one is last one is miscellaneous 
miscellaneous directives. These are the operations provided by the, these are the functionalities provided by the C preprocessor. This, uh, this is for just theoretical knowledge. I, I, I know that you have no idea about what, what you mean by macros and what you mean by file inclusion and all these stuffs. So we will discuss, we will learn all these things in the coming up part of this tutorial. Just uh, for now, just understand that the preprocessor is coming uh, between the compiler and the actual source code. So it will convert the uh, the preprocessor take uh, take the actual source program and it is it uh, it will uh, make some changes on the program and that program is provided to the compiler. Okay, okay, that's enough for this tutorial. Enough for this part. On the next part, we are going to uh, we are going to learn about what do you mean by what is the actual purpose of C preprocessor and we are going to learn about macros uh, in C preprocessor. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.